Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWC. Now, you want to back to give it to Mike C. And I'm Fred Wise. Hey, baby. Today, we're talking about Need for Speed Payback. Yes, this is out on the PlayStation, the Xbox, and on PC. Okay. But before we start talking about it, as always, we like to give it a number of facts. Mike, how many facts do you give Need for Speed? I give it a two, Fred. Fred, what do you give this? Uh, you better not say no I'm, five. I'm going to give it a four, Mike. Good for you, bro. Wow, man. Jeez. Why are you, why are you giving it a two? Brother, did you have... You ever played Burnout Paradise, right? Yes, I played Burnout. Why does it seem like this try to be a clone of Burnout Paradise and Forza Horizon with the three people and then switching in between the three people? Uh -huh. A little GTA type of stuff. And I didn't like the characters weren't fun to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The dialogue, how they got along, it just wasn't fun. It felt so... It just didn't feel like chemistry up in it. And with, with the uh, Burnout reference, Burnout Paradise, there's no bust through billboards uh -huh. and all the other stuff. Even driving... In the city, it looked like some of the scenes that was in Burnout Paradise, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I was like, hold on, man. I'm getting too much deja vu playing this job. So I'm up there driving. Around the corner, I'm like, hold on. That's the building that looks exactly the same that was in Burnout, Burnout Paradise. I wish we had the graphic to show you. But I'm like, like it was uncanny and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I really didn't enjoy the game. As far as the beginning, the beginning really didn't make sense. I was like, okay, you race a little bit, get the feel. Hey, but it felt just like they tried to do, like, for, for, uh, Forza. Horizon introduction, mm -hmm. you know, which was did was so much better. Even mm -hmm. the graphics was better for Forza Horizon. Granted, I'm, I'm playing this on the PlayStation Pro, okay, with my 240 hertz TV and you know HDR and all that stuff. I don't think this game was in HDR, but man, I just didn't like how this game felt, man. They could have got got rid of the uh, introduction at the beginning. I did like driving the supercar at the beginning. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. But then they chop it up with cutscenes and stuff like that. It just didn't have a real clean flow. I just really didn't like this game, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I tried. I wanted to like this game. I like Need for Speed. I, I had played all, all the others. But this game, man, I was not feeling, man. Mm. Fred, why do you give this outstanding game a four, bro? I gave it a four because it reminded me of Burnout. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. Hey, the, the graphics wasn't there for no. me. The storyline was not there for me. It Did just seemed it, it seemed too repetitive for me. But the only reason why I gave it that four is because it seemed like burnout to me. When I was driving and I clipped them cop cars in the slow motion and it turned over, I was like, oh, yeah, I could get into this. But as I started playing it more and more, I was like, oh, I can't get into this because it wasn't enough there for me. I mean, graphically, y'all have to understand, <laughs> y'all, look, it is, they have no excuse for making these games look so last gen. Don't they, it? They have the power, they know these systems now. At the beginning, I can give them a pass, but now we're into some years of these consoles. Why are you making games that don't look like they belong on the current system? You can get the cinematics down great. The cinematics look great. And the movies uh, uh, that, that look great, the introduction and all that other stuff. But then when it comes down to the gameplay, it just takes a big hit, man. And that's something that, you know, that some people say, nah, you shouldn't be too technical on that. But, hey, look, you pay your good, hard-earned money for these games, mm -hmm. and they're not what you expect, man. You get kind of turned up sometimes. Yeah, and, and that kind of makes it hard, you know, when you go to buy these games, man. You drop a $6 pop, $6 here, and they're really not living up to what you want in the video game. How we talked about, we talked about uh, a game that just came out, uh, World War II or whatever that was. I'm like, okay, we played this game before. If you look at Medal of Honor, I hate coming back. Medal of Honor, it looked just like how Medal of Honor mm -hmm. came as far as with that. Different, same game, different skin. Yeah, that, and, that's and, all and it that's is. And that's the thing, and they need to get away from that, man. Come on, think outside the box. Hire some other people. Hire some other people that really know games, man. People do not want to play the same old games. We play that hard-earned money to get the entertainment, you know, our escape, you know, to have fun, man. People like to have fun with these games. With these beta testers or anything like that, I, you might need to hire some other people or hire some older people that actually play games or whatever. And, and hey, um, mm -hmm. you know, that can actually give you honest feedback. If the game sucks, it sucks, man. Mm -hmm. You need to change something about it. It's not fun, you know, but I don't know what they was thinking when they when 
this, I guess you think about Fred and Burnout. <laughs> <laughs> he gave it a four. He's crazy, but <laughs> that's the game. Yeah, we don't agree on time, yeah. I'll tell you that. But uh, it just was, I wanted Burnout, freaking, what is it, Burnout 2? Mm -hmm. Burnout Paradise 2. Come on, y'all, make that game. And the thing about it is, this is Ghost Games. This is almost like the original team, Criterion, that made Burnout. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I guess they wanted to relive some of the Burnout stuff. They said, oh, hey, let me toss a billboard up in there. Hey, got the garage. All right, what is going to do? Throw some cop cars up in here. Cop cars are going to chase you. Yeah, yeah, like the other stuff. I'm like, come on, man. It just, it just wasn't there, man. I'm sorry. Two, man. Stick about my two. I guess let's uh, do a final verdict, Mike. The final verdict. All right, leave the speed payback. Pass by rent. Hey, get your money back. <laughs> Tell them to pay you back. <laughs> Pass <laughs> Go ahead, friend. Frank. I'm gonna say fast too, man. Even though I like it because it reminded me a little bit of burnout, it's just not enough there to 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 hardcore gamers. You, you won't like this, man. Yeah. You you can share play it. You can ask me to share play. That's one of the services that we offer. That's right for the gaming show, and you can see if you like it or not. You know, try before you buy. There you go. Just catch us online and hey, Fred, hey, Mike, can I share play? Sure, no okay, care. Anytime. Yep. Yeah. Just let us know. We'll let you. Enjoy this wonderful game. <laughs> All right, so uh, anything else, Fred? That's about it. All right, so like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshow at gmail.com. That's the Game Show with an A. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page. We can find low, low prices. Don't forget to hit us up on Vita. Don't forget to subscribe and become a Gamers Club member. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam West community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. That's right. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The Game Show. We'll see you next time. Keep watching. Not bad, he just be paid back. <laughs>